Hi everyone, welcome to the session. In this session, I will continue the problems based on highest power of prime number in n factorial. See here. First problem. See here. Highest power of highest power of 6 in 100 factorial. What is the highest power of 6 in 100 factorial? Here if you observe carefully, first and foremost point is check whether this number is prime number or not. 6 is not a prime number, right? So first what we have to do is we need to convert this 6 into prime factors. How can we write this 6 into prime factors which is equal to 2 into 3, okay? Now if you observe carefully, we here we have two prime numbers. Here we have two prime numbers and the number is 100 and the number is 100. Definitely we need to divide this 100 with both the prime numbers uh, separately. With both the numbers separately. Initially with 2, after that with uh, 3. First divide with 2. Here it is 50 times. And next again divide with 2, 25. And next 12. And next 6. And next divided by 2, 3. And next 1. If you add all these values, sum of all these quotients, which is equal to what? Highest power of 2 in 100 factorial. Highest power of 2 in 100 factorial, which is equal to sum of all these quotients. Here it is uh, 7 plus 10, 17. And next, uh, 2, 4, 9, 97. Divided by power of prime number that is 2 that is uh, 1. Power of 2 is 1. So the denominator is 1. Therefore highest power of 2 highest power of 2 in 100 factorial highest power of 2 in 100 factorial which is equal to 97. But this is not your final answer. Once divide with 3 also. Right? Here 100 divided by 3. 33 times and next divided by 3 11 times and next divided by 3 3 times and next divided by 3 1 time once the division process is done add all the values add all the quotients highest power of 3 in 100 factorial which is equal to sum of all these values 33 plus 11 44 44 plus 4 48 divided by power of 3 which is equal to 1. So highest power of 3 in 100 factorial is 48. Highest power of uh, 2 in 100 factorial which is equal to 97. Now what is our answer? Here we don't want highest power of 2 in 100 factorial individually and we don't want highest power of 3 in 100 factorial individually. We want the combined value of uh, highest power of 6, which is nothing but it is a combination of both 2 and 3. Highest power of 6 in 100 factorial. Here, as 6 is a combination of uh, both 2 and 3, so the highest power of uh, 6 uh, must be the combined value of uh, both the answers. Here the combined value of 97 and 48 which is nothing but 48. 48 is the required answer. Combined answer. Highest power of 6 in 100 factorial which is equal to 48. In simplest language you can take the lowest value is your answer. Lowest value. Lowest value is your answer. That is the simplest shortcut method to remember these kind of uh, problems and one more shortcut is also there as we are taking the lowest value as we are taking the lowest value and uh, when you are getting the lowest value when you are dividing with the uh, highest number then only you will get a uh, lowest value if you observe carefully 6 is equal to 2 power 1 into 3 power 1 whenever the power values are equal 
only when the power values are equal. I am not talking about, uh, suppose for example, the values are like this. If the value is like this, you need to divide with both the numbers. In case, if the power values are equal, whether those numbers are 1 or 2 or 3, irrespective of that value, if the power values are equal, if you want to uh, divide with both the prime numbers, don't divide with the smallest number. Only divide with the largest number. Why? Because uh, as we are taking the lowest value is the answer. When you are getting the lowest value is your answer while dividing with the highest number. Then only you will get a lowest value is the answer. So, don't take, um, divide with the smallest uh, number. If the power values, there is a condition. I am uh, particularly mentioning about this condition. If and only if this particular power value must be equal. If power value is equal, then only divide with largest number. Or otherwise, uh, you can go with uh, both the numbers. Okay. I will explain those kind of problems also in this uh, session only. Okay. Next. Second problem. Find the highest power of 24. Find the highest power of 24 in 150 factorial. Highest power of 24 in 150 factorial. Here if you observe carefully, 24 is not a prime number. It is a composite number. We have to convert this composite number into prime factors, right? So, I can write this number as uh, 8 into 3. Again, 8 is nothing but 2 cube into 3 power 1. Here, power values are not equal. As power values are not equal, just now I told that you have to divide with both the numbers. If power values are equal, then only you can divide with larger number. Okay? As the power values are not equal, you need to divide that particular 150 with both the numbers. 2. Here it is uh, 75. After that, again divide with 2. 37. And next, 18. And next, 9. Next, 4, 2 and last if you divide with uh, 2 that is 1. Now you can add all the values. Highest power of highest power of 2 cube in 150 factorial that is equal to add all these values once. Uh, here it is uh, 12 5 plus 2 5 plus 7 12 20 29 30 36. Next, 3. Uh, 3 plus 7, 10. 15, 15, 18, 19. And next, 1 is a carry. And next, uh, 2, 296. Sorry. We have taken this uh, 150 also. You need to add only these numbers, not all the numbers. Uh, that is wrong way of calculation. Here it is 12, 20, 29, 30, 36. Units place is 6. And next, uh, 10, 13 plus uh, 1, 14, 14. And next, 1, 146. 146 divided by power of 2. What is the power of 2 here? 3. So, divided by 3, which is equal to, what is this value? Here it is 4 times uh, 12 and next uh, 26 is left over. 26 means uh, that is uh, 8 times, right? So, whatever the remainder, you just leave it. Division with uh, 2 cube is done. And next, uh, divide the given number with uh, one more prime number that is 3. Here it is 50. And next, again, here it is uh, if you observe carefully, there is no need of dividing a further division. Directly, you can take the answer as 48. The reason behind that is, uh, here, the denominator power value is only 1. Power value is 1. So, automatically, whatever the summation you got, that all summation you need to write over here only, right? If you observe carefully, as we are taking the lowest value is the answer. All these are shortcut techniques to 
uh, identify the answers in a quick approach right so as we are taking the lowest value is our answer 50 plus something that is definitely more than 50 here the answer is uh, greater than 50 definitely greater than 50 and we got the answer here it is uh, 48 only right so definitely our answer is uh, 48 combined value combined value of uh, 2 power 3 and 3 power 1 which is equal to 48 highest power of 24 highest power of 24 in 150 factorial which is equal to 48 in this way you can solve uh, these kind of problems uh, and all these are shortcut techniques uh, in examination point of view some uh, students what they will do is for, uh, they will continuously calculate all these values uh, dividing with this number right there is no need of uh, dividing all the numbers why because initially you got it as 50 definitely this value is uh, something more than 50 why because in the denominator only one is there why because here the power value is 1 so there is no need of uh, dividing uh, with this number right so all these techniques are very important please keep it in mind uh, all these techniques uh, and one more point previously I have already explained in case the power values are equal don't divide with smallest number always divide with the largest number if there is a combination of uh, two or more than two prime numbers okay guys uh, that's all about this session i hope you enjoy the session thank you thanks for watching